Hey guys! So we are coming back at you with another video. This time it's our haul from IMATS. It was in Pasadena um, about last, actually two weeks ago because it was held the 18th, 19th, and the 20th. So this is the brochure they hand out when you um, get your bracelet for entrance into the show. So it's a really cool tool because it just has several pages of where each booth is going to be and it's placed by number and then you just flip the page and then it tells you right here the numbers and then where the booths are. So it's a really cool tool to have and it also shows like each makeup artist what room they're going to be in for demonstrating makeup techniques. Um, so yeah, so good, good tool to, I uh, can't even talk, good tool to have when you're going to IMATS. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the stuff I purchased. Um, and on Saturday, it was me, Delia, my best friend, and then my two friends, uh, Candy and her sister, Julie. So we went um, we went on Saturday all together, and then on Sunday, it was just me and Delia. Um, it was more of a mellow day for us on Sunday, because Saturday, we just purchased everything we wanted, and then Sunday was our last minute. I want to get this, I want to get that, and then we were mostly sitting watching demonstrations on the main stage. Um... So yeah, so let's just jump right in. It's not in any particular order. It's just going to go um, from what I see on the bed first. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to go with the longest line we stood in. And I was not getting out because, one, I wanted this super really cute bag. And this is what they handed out when you bought something from them. Um, and also they gave out this cute little sticker not going to get rid of this. I'm going to go ahead and put it on one of my makeup boxes. So I already have all their palettes and this time around I wanted to get some of their Chromalesque Loose um, Eyeshadow Pigments. This is how the boxes are. Super cute. Just simple. Um, this is their full jar. I went ahead and got Royal Sugar. We're going to go ahead and open these up so you guys can at least see. And all that shimmer and pigment, that is how it is in the jar. Hold on, honey. And this is my lovely assistant. She was in my last haul at IMATS. This is Annalise. This time around, she is now one year older. How old are you, honey? Six. Six. This is absinthe. A gorgeous green. The more I say the word, the more I'm not going to butcher it. Look how pretty. Actually matches uh, the wall. Because we are staying in my nephew's room. So that's a really gorgeous green. And these were $8.40 a piece. Oh, first let's go with Stella. I'm not too sure what are the price on the website. And this is a black that is super gorgeous, super pigmented, and really pretty. Because look at all that shimmer. And that is at least four to five different shimmer glitter just mix in and last but not least is darling and this is just like a, a turquoise green really pretty I cannot wait to play around with these and see what looks I could come up with so those are the four that I purchased from sugar pill we are moving on to I'm gonna go with Morph because they did hand out these bags when you purchase something. Cute little tote. Um, but this is the only palette I purchased from Morph. And it's the 28, and surprisingly, it's actually a neutral palette. Um, as you can see in all my other videos, um, my tutorials are with really fun, bright colors. Um, so I just wanted to play around with a neutral palette and see what looks I could come up with using those. Um, and that was $10. And then we're going to go with this one. And this is a new new line that was there. This is a City Color. And this is really pretty because it's an all-over bronzer. I already used some of that. And this is in Sunrise. And this is a baked blush. And this is in Peach. Really pretty. I love baked items. Muffins, cookies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is an, another blush. This one is called Bronze. And I like this one because the two top ones are pretty matte. 
the two bottom ones do have a little shimmer but you could really contour with those ones cute packaging too um and then i purchased this comes with five kind of like nyx jumbo pencils but this is from city color got the package like this because of the cute little girls on it so let's see if these work just as good as nyx jumbo pencil for liking them on facebook they did give out a complimentary lipstick unfortunately it does not say the color on the packaging but look how gorgeous that is so that was free for liking and i don't know the prices of each individual product but i know all four of these it was 14 dollars, so it wasn't too bad all right and then we're gonna move on to LA Splash. The only things I purchased there, just like last year, is their is their um their discontinued items. Just because they have an awesome deal. Last year I purchased ten loose eyeshadows for ten dollars. This year I went ahead and did the same, um, but this time with glitter for your eyes. So we're gonna go right into talking about the lip pencils, and I went ahead and purchased some that were like red, orange, went to some browns, and then some really dark raisin colors. So these were pick 10 for $5, so I can't beat that. And then you get a close view of all the glitters. Super fun. I was not leaving that counter until I picked 10 that were not the same, because a lot of the colors were the same, so I was digging my way, you know? So the first color we're going to go with is pink sand and this is just a baby pink it's super gorgeous there you, go. you can put that in if you would like um walk of fame and this is just a neon yellow this one's one of my favorites it's called midnight star but you can see it has several other colors mixed in i, I see a red a purple a blue a baby blue I know they just seem so fun this one is called spotlight and it is a lime color I didn't buy the eye sealer because I uh, LA splash does have an eye sealer for this brand but I have two in um in other brands that I'm gonna go ahead and try to use first and if not I'll probably purchase X I don't know how to say this guys I don't want to butcher it actinic lights and this is just like a royal blue This one is Zuma Beach. Look how pretty that is. This is another blue. Blue Lagoon. It's a teal. Okay. And then this is Sunset Beach. Look how awesome that orange is. It's super pretty. I cannot wait to try these ones out. Purple Waves. I should be wearing this one today, huh? Because I'm wearing purple. We'll see. And this one is Precious Jellyfish. This is a light purple, like a lavender, but it has like teal glitter mixed in as well. So that's it from LA Splash. You like the colors? Yes. Yeah? I love them. You love all of them? <laughs> We're going to go right into Alyssa Jade from Purse Buzz. She was giving out these cute bows with the spikes if you took a picture with her. Also, if you purchased, um, I want to say it was $20 or more, you also get another uh, headband free. So I went ahead and picked these two out. So these are the two rings that I ended up purchasing. I always wanted a bow ring. So just a really dark gray with some um, rhinestones. It is stretchy, as well as this one. It's stretchy, but I just like this because the spikes and the pink. You can't go wrong with spikes and pink. So that was from Alyssa Jade. Let's go right into the makeup brushes. And I ended up going with crayon brush. And what this is, it just says what they, you know, what they have featured. You know, their new Siri line. But what I like is the back page. The back page has all the different um, types of material and it's really much saying what our crown brush is made out of and it has a list and pictures of the different brushes with the different type of material bristles and what is perfect and how you could use them so that's what I liked about it 
that. I'm going to go in with the first one. This one here. This is a synthetic flat topper. What I'm going to use this one for is for my cream blushes. Because I heard the synthetic really gets, uh, it's like easier to wash out when you use cream. And then I got another stipple brush right here. Really soft. But I heard uh, these ones are easy when you are applying your foundation. And it really gets into, you know, the cracks and the fine lines. and helps it to blend out evenly. And I'm not too sure what the prices are, but I know I spent 40 on all six brushes. I went ahead and got two angled blush brushes. I already know what those are for. And these two, these are just fluffy brushy, brushies, blushes, brushes, excuse me, can't even talk. I don't know why. This is just a white one. I want to say this one's a synthetic fiber. And then you have the black one. And then over at Wolf FX, just a face painting and special effects booth, I purchased these two. This is a number two and a number three. I'm going to use these ones for, um, I'm going to try to see if the gel liner would work. I don't know if they're going to be too sturdy or not. Or my plan was to use these for when applying my fun glitter. Well, that's what I got at Crown. Next, we're jumping into Micah Beauty, and this one is in Carnival, and it's just really dark copper gold. This one, I had to go with another green, and this is in Lucky. This one here is Aphrodite, and it's a really pretty soft pink, and it does have an iridescent finish with like a shimmer of purple. So super excited to try this. This last one is just an eye primer. I wasn't gonna purchase it, but I ended up doing it anyways because she, the lady that helped me, swatched the primer on her hand and then run like ran a little bit of water over it and the water just fell right off. So it's waterproof. It's crease proof, everything proof pretty much. Then I went ahead with just a basic black gel liner. This is what it looks like. Love how the packaging is because look, bam, in your face. You have the brush right there. So that's really convenient. So that's all from Micah Beauty. Then we are going to go with this brand which is Two Cosmetics but it says Two Paint. And this is what it looks like. And this is the name. And check out this bad boy. Look how pretty that is. All that shimmer you see, it literally is in the palette. Like, it's super amazing. And for liking them on Facebook, you get a free lip gloss. And this is in Angelic. And then jump right over to Makeup Geek. Super excited. Marlena from Makeup Geek had her booth there. Because I watch her YouTube videos, and she's always doing looks with her products. And I looked up her website, and I was like, dang, I want to buy something. I have to buy something. So when I was there, pretty much a lot of stuff was sold out on Saturday. Come Sunday, it was still sold out. So I was just like, I'm just going to go with something simple, inexpensive. The gel liners were 7 The lipstick was 5 So I went with two gel. And the first one is electric, and check out that blue. How freaking awesome and amazing is that? And then this one is Fame, and it's just like a greenish teal. I don't, I don't know how to, ex you know, describe that color. Their lipstick. This one is in Fearless. Look how cute the packaging is, because it says Makeup Beat right there. How awesome and pretty. And this is a matte. So I cannot wait to try those out. And then moving right along. I am going to go with one brand that I purchased last year and I was really pleased with. Um, and I'm glad they were there again this year, which is Saucebox. Packaging super cute. I love this little picture right here. And I went ahead and went got the Forbidden Fruits palette. And it's magnetized, so, you know, it just shuts right. So this is it. It has a mirror right here, but look how pretty. 
these purples and pinks are and then that red in the middle it does have a lot of shimmer but I want to say this palette of six was 35 no 30 30 because I went ahead and purchased a single um, eyeshadow and this is in starstruck and these are five check out that blue really pretty and then of course like always they give out a free mascara I'm surprised they don't sell this by itself they should because a lot of people seem to be raving over it I know um, I love it my best friend loves it and when I took my niece last year she liked it so this is it that's just what the bristles look like so the formula that they're using is to die form so that's free with the purchase and then we're going to jump right into BH Cosmetic. And I found love when I seen these little palettes. Not one, not two, but three. You have the Malibu, you have the San Francisco, and then you have the Hollywood. So I was just, oh, when I seen them. And for the price, check that out. You have 16 little eyeshadows, cute packaging. When you open it, you have a mirror where my hand's at, and then also four blushes. So all this, perfect travel size compartment, or not compartment, but it's conveniently packaged so that way you could, um, you know, just throw it in your bag or something. But $6, you cannot beat that. And I'm one that likes a steal, and to me, that is a steal. All right, so this is the San Francisco palette, and it's magnetized too, so it closes really nice. Uh, this has more of the neutrals, so that's why I like this one a lot. And look, bam, another four blushes. Here it close, bam, in your face. This one is like, oh my gosh, to die for. This is what the package looks like. It's the Hollywood, and when you open that, oh my god, your eyes just get big because look at those fun, bright colors. You do a lot of looks with these. And even if you do a neutral, you could always add just a pop of color. Then you open that, and there's another four blushes. So $6 in their special edition, because I didn't even see them on their website a couple days before I went to the show. So, hey, I had to buy, you know. And then another palette from them is the BH Day and Night. Let's take off that. So that is what it looks like. You have the day colors here and the nighttime colors here. So it's a really pretty palette for $10. I think all my palettes that I purchased was $10 except for Sauce Box and the little, the little guys. Okay, another brand that I bought last year is Eye Candy Cosmetics. I did the six glitters for $40. And it comes with their full size liquid sugar. So, this is just the adhesive to apply the glitter. Comes with a cute little brush. And then, all the pigments I got this one is in Tangerine Twist. Look how fun that orange is! Last year, I just picked, you know, basic, the basic colors. This time, this is called Cherry Bomb. I mixed it up and got like lighter purples because I got dark purple last time. So this is Tiny Tarp. It's a really nice soft periwinkle purple. This is Candy Coin. I just love it. Look at that gold. Dang. I want to eat it. This is Chiclets, just like the gum. And this is Double Bubble, just like the gum as well. So those I cannot wait to try out. And also it comes with like the little how to, how to apply, how to use, um, how to let it dry and whatnot. But the second day that I went on Sunday, because they were just grabbing people and saying, hey, you want glitter on? So on Sunday I was like, I want to stop by because I did my eyeshadow all cute. And I was like, I need them to put, put glitter on. So, she was trying to sell me some more, but I already had told her, like, I already bought some. 
um, but I was just asking how to apply it again. And she said the trick is more sugar, less glitter. So if you accidentally put too much of the glitter, it's going to clump on you. So she said go ahead and dip your brush again into the liquid sugar and then even it out. So, um, so that's what you do for those that have it and can't figure it out or those that want to get it and are playing with it. Just do it that way. Um, next, we are going to do Miss Adoro. And I ended up purchasing these little jewels for your eyes or for your nails. The lady said you can use um, eyelash glue and carefully apply it to your eyes. And then lashes, like, like I told my friend, I could have sworn I seen a sign for Adoro lashes that they were like 12 for 15 or 15 for 20. I'm not sure. But she seen someone post that they like bought tons and tons of lashes and that they were a dollar a piece. So we went back. And she asked the guy, and he's like, yeah, they're a dollar. But if you get, like, the specialty lashes, which had jewels, had different colors, they are more flamboyant, then, you know, they would go up in price. So I got 14 lashes. I got seven. Okay, so like I was saying, I, um, I got 14 pairs, but two sets of each. So the first one is number 79. 73. And these are all really pretty. 28. This one's one of my favorite. Number 20, because it's just really full. Number 138. And I could um, keep my lashes for a really long time just because I keep them in the packaging when I take them off. Slowly take off the glue. Number 46. Um... And, and yes, uh, like the way I apply my mascara and lashes, I put my mascara on first and then I go with the lashes so I'm not putting product on the lashes. So I feel like for me, that's what makes me keep my lashes lasting longer. Like I could go one pair of wearing it like five, ten times. I don't know. But it lasts a really long time. I still have lashes from last eye mats, which is, wasn't that long ago. It was in June. But I know that just works for me. So this brand is J-Cat. This is a new line that just launched at IMATS. Um, I thought they were really comparable, you know, with packaging and just looking at colors of what NYX Cosmetics line is. Um, unfortunately, NYX wasn't there this year. I was super bummed and I was sad because I already had my heart set on what I wanted to buy from them. Um, but we stumbled upon this line and they had four for five so I p picked up six lipsticks and six lip glosses so this one is in grapes it's a really pretty lavender purple and they smell good like what does it smell like mm -hmm. second opinion Elias in the side ground side background kind of smells fruity huh yeah because some lipsticks they have a horrific smell but these ones smell really nice this is Poos pink hopefully I'm saying that right this one is in shiny rose it's a really pretty pink color this one is in mulberry I really like this one a lot this one is in apple peach and camera looks more of a like a, a reddish pink but I see more like an orangey pink but they're all really pretty this is the color I accidentally bought two of just because that's me you know um I don't sometimes think I think I didn't get it but usually I, I do so I ended up purchasing two of this color and then my friend Dahlia who I went with ended up purchasing two of this color which is apple pie so we ended up swapping so we you know so we weren't having double we just ended up swapping with each other so right into lip glosses this is red wine Look how pretty that is red wine this one is odyssey now odyssey i believe i picked up two of those ones yeah see two of the same color so that was my mistake again. This is Carnation. Really pretty. 
and this one is red violet it's not as purple as it looks in camera but it's gorgeous anyways rose tea that's a nice neutral and then I did end up going with two liquid glitter eyeliners this really pretty gold and this really pretty neon green so it's a good brand so far so good and then the last place is Shani Cosmetics. On Saturday, I ended up purchasing, because they had a deal, five items for uh, $10. So I thought that was a pretty good steal. I ended up getting this one. It has all the different, you know, brushes um, for detailing and fine lines. I went ahead and picked up these two decoration little plastic designs. I don't know how else to say that. Double sided dotting tool. And then I picked up this which is the stamper and the scraper for the metal plate. And then I realized when we got home on Sunday or on Saturday that I didn't buy any of the plates. So then on Sunday luckily they still had plates available. I picked up these. I need the box first. I picked up two of these and they're pretty big. You know, this is number one and I picked up number three. And their deal was buy one for 15 or purchase two for 20. So I might as well go with the two for 20. And then this is what it looks like. I don't want to show too much because it does have the glare. But it's just um, like the metal is engraved so it has the pattern and what you do is put the drop of polish on the pattern you scrape it with the little scraper yeah. you stamp it and then roll it on your nail and then you should have the pattern you know on your nail so that's for the full nail this one I went ahead and just picked up um, it has like little flowers little hearts fruits animals more for like Anna because her nails are more tiny so yeah, so that's what I purchased there. And that's all the stuff that I bought at IMATS. I was so excited to go. I was so excited and happy that I went with three amazing girls. We had a really good time. You know, hopefully, maybe next year we can just tag along more people because it is a really fun show to go to. So if you're in the area, Pasadena area, feel, like, feel free to buy a ticket online. Um, look at IMAT's website and see when's the next, you know, available date. I want to say it is in January next year. Um, but it's just so fun. You get to meet a lot of people, see a lot of YouTubers. I seen Jazzy Baby Cakes because she helped me with my sugar pill, um, with my sugar pill order. I seen Shrinkle because she's the owner of Sugar Pill, um, Queen of Blending. I met Nicole Guerrero. I met Talia Joy 18. Um, the list goes on, but my all time favorite two that I met was Charisma Star from Charisma Star TV, Karis, and uh, Candy Johnson. She was a, a doll to me. She just lightened my day because we waited in line for her on Sunday because we knew she was doing a meet and greet. And me and Talia were not leaving the show until we met her. Like, we were there in line for like an hour and a half but it was well worth it um overall the show was well worth it you know buying this fun amazing products was definitely the highlight also um so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the haul check out all their websites because they're really good products um do you have anything you have to say mm, yes what do you want to say hi kina if you're watching this Hi, Kina. Um, there's your shout out. Come here, Lies. Hurry. Go. Hi, Kina. <laughs> there you go, Kina. Enjoy. So, like always, every day is a blessing. Go out there and live. Bye, guys. <laughs>